Okay, so dear friends, uh, we have implicit functions. I have been using the word implicit quite often. Now, for example, you have y is equal to 2x minus 3. So this is called an explicit function. Explicit means it's very clearly mentioned that y is a function of x. The same thing you can write it as 2x minus y minus 3 is 0. So here you are expressing, you can even write x as y minus 3 by 2. So hence this is an implicit, this is this kind of a thing is called an implicit function where the right to be simple, the right hand side will not have y or you can collect all the sums together. But suppose you have something like this x square plus y square is 25. In that, this is an implicit function. Now, y hence would be equal to plus or minus 25 minus x square root. That means if you try to convert it into an explicit function for a single implicit function, there are two explicit functions. So, in such cases, there is a different uh, difference in the concept of implicit and explicit function. We have done a number of examples of implicit functions. Say, for example, x square y plus x y square is equal to 5. I want to find dy by dx in this kind of a case. So what do we do? We find x square into dy by dx. We are using the product rule plus y into dy, dy, by, dy by dx of x square that is 2x. So this completes this. Then x into dy by dx of y square that is 2y dy by dx plus y square into d by dx of x which is 1 d by dx of 5 is so you collect all the dy by dx terms so dy by dx is here and you get x square plus 2xy and this side it is y minus y square minus 2xy so hence obviously or minus y square so you get dy by dx is equal to minus y into y plus 2x upon x into x plus 2y. So, we are differentiated an implicit function this way. So, this is the concept of implicit function. So, as I told, x and y are together. In that case, dy by dx is calculated as I told. Suppose you have x plus y is the function itself. So, you find it as x plus y square. So, you find dy by dx in this case is 1 plus 2y dy by dx. So, that means you collect these things. So, dy by dx is actually 1 upon 1 minus 2y. <clears throat> this way we find dy by dx. Okay. Alright. So, now take, let's take this kind of a case wherein you find. So, if you want to differentiate with respect to x. So, you get xy differentiated x into dy by dx plus y into d by dx of x that is 1. Then y square into d by dx of x that is 1 then x into 2y dy by dx derivative of 15 is 0 is equal to 0 so you collect all the dy by dx terms so dy by dx is equal to into x plus 2xy and this side you get minus of y square plus y so dy by dx is hence equal to minus y into y plus 1 upon x into 1 plus 2y. So, dy by dx you get like this. Alright. <coughs> okay. Coming back to this again, you have x cube plus y square plus xy. You have to find dy by dx. This is 3x square. This is 2y and then d by dx of y that is dy by dx plus x into dy by dx plus y into d by dx of x which is 1 is equal to 0. So collect all the dy by dx terms so you get dy by dx into x plus 2y and this one goes to the other side minus of y plus 3x square. So hence dy by dx is equal to minus of 3x square plus y upon x plus y. So, this is how you find dy by dx. So, hence we have dy by dx. So, this is why we kind. 